Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to PyTorch Developer Day uh, for 2020. My name is George. I'm a software engineer at Facebook. I work for the text domain in PyTorch team. My job at Facebook is to support the PyTorch user, especially in the text domain for, uh, for research to production. So in this talk, I will go over some major updates in 2020 and uh, help you understand how our work can facilitate you research and the production for the PyTorch. So why we, uh, why we want to have a text domain team in addition to PyTorch? First, we want to accelerate NLP research and provide some reusable orthogonal and the correct building block for cutting edge research. Based on our knowledge for the text domain and the research community, we want to work with the both internal team and in external open source community to build a pipeline like can better support both the Facebook products and external research. Second, we want to provide a solution to transfer from research to production. What we mean here is uh, we integrate those pipeline and module with a wide range of PyTorch capability, such as uh, touch script quantization, distribute data parallel, and mobile. With this goal, we want to have a better support for research to production transition for, for most end-to-end -end NLP pipeline. Thirdly, we want to engage with the community and discover novel technology. As people know, the NLP domain move very fast. So the text domain in PyTorch team want to develop a good technology understanding uh, in the NLP area and build a new research collaboration for the future community. With those goals in mind, we provide some those easy access to data sets, text uh, processing pipeline, and uh, some NLP related module. So uh, if you have time, please go over those uh, one by one, our real text data sets, the transform, um, and our mo some NLP related module. I will go over, go over this one by one uh, with you. Okay, so the new data set in Touch Text. We have uh, also rewrite a few existing data set in Touch Text nightly release. So here, for the nightly release, we consider those new stuff as a prototype. So we will release those uh, new data sets with our beta release uh, very soon. So the new data sets show here are fully compatible with data loader in PyTorch. User will have the flexibility to build the data processing pipeline based on some, with some standard tokenizer and vocabulary blocks. Um, okay, here I list all the new data sets uh, uh, available to our user in our uh, beta release. At the same time, you may wonder, once I have those raw data, uh, what should I do to convert this raw data into uh, a tensor, like can be used to train your model? Okay, so here we provide some improved performance uh, we provide some data pipeline with improved performance with some C++ extension. So we, uh, the goal here is uh, we want to have an easy transfer to production. Here's the overview of some end-to-end -end pipeline with PyTorch and the Torch text. The raw data uh, stream are read and send to a field transform. Here, I, here you can see like tokenizer, vocabulary, vector tokenizer, and the converted tensor, right? So currently we are rewriting this uh, data processing transform as some orthogonal building block with the G support. So after this, pro after this step, uh, we call this a pre-processing. The data are sent to data loader and sampler where we generate data batch there. Then the data are ready for the model. So, um, we are do our best to write those uh, building block, individual building block, like so you will have the full flexibility to combine them together. And uh, 
with the C++ extension, we are able to score the JIT for all this uh, transform. And we, we believe like that's a better support for the production. Um, okay, so now we go to the, the NLP related module. So we released a new uh, multi-head attention module in Touch Tags. So in addition to the drop-in re replacement, uh, if you are using the multi-head attention in PyTorch co-library, we support the drop-in replacement. So you can easily switch from uh, PyTorch multi-head attention to Touch Tags multi-head attention. In addition, the new multi-head attention container also support Touch Script. Um, Based on the feedback from our user, we add the incremental decoding and the broadcasting support. The idea for this new multi-head attention container is to facilitate user with some novel research idea under the transformer architecture. Right now, the transformer architecture is very popular across the text, audio, and vision domain. So, we hope here like uh, we can provide a very flexible multi-head attention uh, module so our user can apply this with different idea. Here I give you an example like uh, how you switch from the uh, PyTorch multi-head attention to our Touch Tags multi-head attention container. Just with these a few lines, user has a more flexibility to try different custom component with the concept of multi-head attention. You can put uh, custom in projection container, multi head attention container, or skill dot product. You can apply different idea um, with this uh, multi head attention container. Okay, last but not least, on our website, we have several text related tutorial, including the one to show how to use the new data set for text classification analysis. Uh, please check out those uh, tutorial and have some idea about how to write those end to an NLP pipeline. Uh, keep in mind, like we will also update this tutorial and show how to build the end to end pipeline with the, with the new touch text library for different NLP tasks. At the end, thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoy the PyTorch developer day for this year. And I will see you around 